And in a tweet Sunday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said Archbishop Tutu was one of his personal heroes and hailed him as a man of peace, dignity and goodwill. Mr. Holness says Archbishop Tutu's life and work offer much to celebrate and emulate. Archbishop Tutu had been ill for several years. Back locally, with more than 406 Jamaicans losing their lives in road crashes this year, one stakeholder is calling for more investment in 2022 to fix the ongoing disaster. The National Road Safety Council wants tougher laws made effective to deter reckless driving. Dwayne Anderson reports. The carnage on the nation's streets continued into the holiday weekend, with six fatal crashes reported in the last 48 hours. The deaths mean more than 460 people have died so far from road crashes in 2021 in Jamaica. Vice Chairman of the National Road Safety Council, Dr. Lucien Jones, has described the number of road fatalities this year as a major disaster. He's therefore calling for an effective deterrent for 2022 with the implementation of the new ticketing system and the new Road Traffic Act. Speeding, which is a major problem that the police have been speaking about for a long time, and driving recklessly, unless you have an effective deterrent system in place. It just will not work. So we have to get the improved ticketing system in place, and we have to get the new road traffic act implemented. It has many provisions that can make a difference. The matter of distracted driving, which is a worldwide problem, people using cell phones without a hands-free instrument and causing crashes and injuries and deaths is a major issue. That provision is within the new road traffic act. The ability to use cameras to detect road infractions in terms of speeding and red light, that can make a huge difference if we have it in place for 2022. Dr. Jones also wants the management system at the National Road Safety Council to be strengthened to effectively carry out its duties. He says there are several issues that can be addressed to enable the council to target road users. We have to increase the capacity of the National Road Safety Council to carry out its parliamentary mandate to coordinate all activities to reduce fatalities and injuries. We need dedicated funding so that we can carry out our public education campaigns and employ more staff. And we need a more effective management system by appointing more persons to the board to serve with the vice chairman. If you get these fundamentals right, 2022 will be a far different year from 2021. In that context then, of getting the fundamentals right, and looking for a brighter future. Road fatalities in Jamaica are projected to increase to 470 by the end of the year. The police are again urging motorists to be responsible as they go about their business this festive season. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.